So you know that feeling when life just sometimes feels meh and not going your way. When life just kind of slaps you in the face and then leaves you lying there. I was having one of those weeks. So fun, I know. But we're going to remedy that today. I am on a mission today and that mission is to go on a solo date. The last time I took myself on a date, it's been a while. I went a lot out by myself in LA when I did that, but I have been feeling, I've been feeling okay these days, but I just want to spice it up. One of my favorite places to go is the beach. Also, I literally just bought these two pieces yesterday and I'm just going to wear it shameless, but yes. Another lazy afternoon. That was a 45 minute drive. Now I'm starving. Third and gray. Third coffee of the day. Hi, can I get two perico tacos? One with uh, pastor and one with lengua. Third meeting of the day. Such nice weather today, and I'm just gonna walk to the beach and eat there because I want to. bright today. I've been here so many times, but every time it's so pretty. I never get over it. Bro. sit down chat but it was so windy beach day but <laughs> your girl got sand in her mouth so that was fun i just texted my friend who i saw was in santa cruz i was like bro why are you in santa cruz so we're gonna hang out for a bit so i know i turned this solo date into a friend date but i'm actually really glad that i did and spend time with them um, because earlier that day i actually took my dog to the vet since he's been having uh, a quite a bit of health problems recently and i think it really just got to me in terms of like realizing how limited my time is not just with my 14 year old dog but just with all those around me who i really care about so i am super glad that i got to spend time with my friends and just get my mind off things i am the kind of person who tends to overthink a lot and get really deep in my thoughts when i'm alone by the time we finished our little hangout, I totally forgot about what was going on earlier that day, so it was definitely really good for me. And I know this is super deep in terms of my usual vlog content, but I just wanted to like open up about how life is not always this picture perfect scene. I'm just a normal 23 year old just going through life, and so if you're going through something too, you are definitely not alone. So, uh, welcome to the sit down chit chat portion of this video. Your girl is still like awkward and shy to film in public. <laughs> um, I was setting it up, I was like, are people looking at me? But you know, I'm trying to learn how to be more comfortable in public and just do my own thing. I just wanted to take some time to talk about self care and how important it is. For me, I've historically never been that good at self care. I am definitely a type of person to feel like I'm always behind almost. And especially like in my 20s, I've felt that in full force. Recently, I feel like stagnant in growth and it scares me because a lot of people are like, oh yeah, your 20s are when you grow and you're supposed to like take risks and live your best life and i'm like am i doing that like am i on the right track it's just harder to figure out I definitely do try and take more time for myself these days and i think it really has been really helpful for me i just wanted to share a few key takeaways and things that i've learned so far number one for me is 
self-care days are just as important as work days and i think it's really hard for me to understand that that like spending time taking care of myself is just important as getting things done that has been really obvious but really hard to implement and when i do take a break i do tend to feel a little bit guilty about it like i should be doing more productive things like self-care is productive two is self-care i realize doesn't have to look so like extravagant and okay maybe extravagant is not the right word but like so grand yes i did come all the way to santa cruz and drove like an hour to get here and i went to the beach and those are like extra things so i really I realize like self-care can be super small like making sure i drink enough water in the day or taking a step outside of my house when i'm feeling a little bit groggy or getting that boba that i really wanted i think the little things add up for me and i've realized that like i can spend a little bit of each day doing that number three is that self-care for me also means spending time alone but it's been really difficult to realize that i need some alone time i think that has been something i wanted to like almost achieve in a way of like being okay being alone i am in a relationship and there is a lot of time to be spent with other people but also it's so liberating to be able to like just go somewhere by yourself and like i don't know like eat in a restaurant by yourself and like do whatever you want on your own time like that's so liberating and when i do do those things i'm like yeah I'm so glad I did that. But my natural instinct is to just, you know, go out with other people. If you have the inclination to go somewhere by yourself, like, do it. But yeah, those are my three main takeaways. I hope you all get to do some self-care for yourself. And yeah, take yourself on a date if you have time. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!